Okay, so in this video, we're going. I'm going to show you how to prove that two triangles are congruent through the side angle side postulate. So to start, as you can see, we have our we have our givens. We're going to start with our first given, which is um, segment BD bisects segment AC. So that's going to be our first statement. And that is our given. Okay, so to start this, we're gonna have to find our first so our first pair of congruent sides. So in order to do that, we re we see this this straight line going through the middle of the triangle. That is the angle bisector, which essentially splits the triangle in half. So because of the angle bisector, you're gonna have two congruent segments right here in AD and DC. So that's going to be our second reason and our first pair of congruent sides. So and that is because the angle bisector splits the triangle in half and forms these sides down here. So that is going to be the definition of a segment bisector. Okay, so that is our first pair of congruent sides. Now, to get the sec to get the um to now for the angles, we have to look at our second given, which is segment BD is per perpendicular to segment AC. So this is to find our angles, and if you know what per what perpendicular lines mean, it means that two lines intersect in 90 degrees. If you'll see down here, both of these form right angles, so that is going to form two right angles in ADB and CDB, so angles ADB and C, C, D, B are right angles. And that is because that is what perpendicular lines are. Two lines that intersect at 90 degrees. So the definition of perpendicular lines So, and because of that, both of these are congruent because angles with right, ang ang um, angles that are right are congruent to each other. So, that is going to make our pair of angles right here. And also, I'm going to mark the other side up right here. So, angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. And that is because that is what right angles are. Now, to form... The side angle side posture, we need one more pair of congruent sides. Now, this is really simple. All you have to do is look at this segment by sector in the middle, BD. That counts as a congruent side because BD will equal itself and it will count as two pairs of congruent sides all on its own because it's a part of two tr bo of both of the triangles. So segment BD is congruent to segment BD because of the reflexive property, which means that ever anything equals itself. And that is going to form our last side. 
And that is the end of the problem. So that means triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD because of the side angle side postulate because you have your two pair you have your pair of congruent sides your pair of congruent angles and your other pair of congruent sides so that proves that both of them are both triangles are congruent so i hope this helps and that is how you prove that two triangles are congruent using the sine angle side postulate